Humans, for thousands of years, have deliberately selected which plants and animals shall live. We're surrounded with farm and domestic animals, fruits, vegetables. Where do they come from? Were they once free living in their present form in the wild and then induced to adopt some less strenuous life on the farm? No. They are, almost all of them, made by us. The essence of artificial selection, for a horse or a cow, a grain of rice or a hakey crab, is this. Many characteristics are inherited. They breed true. Humans encourage the reproduction of some varieties and discourage the reproduction of others. The variety selected for eventually becomes abundant. The variety selected against becomes rare, may be extinct. But if artificial selection makes such changes in only a few thousand years, what must natural selection, working for billions of years, be capable of? The answer is all the beauty and diversity in the biological world. That life evolved over the ages is clear from the changes we've made in the beasts and vegetables, but also from the record in the rocks. The fossil evidence speaks to us unambiguous of creatures that were once present in enormous numbers and that have now vanished utterly. There are far more species that have become extinct than exist today. They're the terminated experiments in evolution. These guys, for example, the trilobites, appeared 600 million years ago. They were around for 300 million years. They're all gone. There's none left. But in those old rocks, there are no fossils of people or cattle. We've evolved only recently. Evolution is a fact, not a theory. It really happened.